Hello and welcome back to Cairo, Egypt. In today's video, I'm going to be trying koshari for the first time. I've made sure I haven't tasted it until today, alongside some other traditional Egyptian food. I have Omar with me again, hey. my brother from the first video, <laughs> yeah. who uh, helped us cross the busy highway yeah, and uh, yeah. show me around. Yeah. So we'll be trying the food together. Yeah. We're gonna go quickly back to earlier on where we tried some Egyptian breakfast in downtown of Cairo. So we're now here in a very popular branch called El Tabe El Domyati. And we've got a ton of food here to try to begin with. I suppose this is more breakfast food than it's it is. It's the most better than a breakfast. Okay, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Omar, yeah. let's so, talk them through what we've got here. So, well, uh, let's start this uh, aubergine, spiced yeah. aubergine. This kind of another aubergine is called misaka with a spiced uh, tomato. Uh, this is shakshuka. We got here omelette, pin which is, which is uh, full, uh, fries, uh, falafel, but we call it here uh, ta'amiya. Uh, pin as well, tahina, bread. Yeah, that's pretty much the typical breakfast, Egyptian breakfast, you know? <laughs> So, yeah. Let's do it. Let's dig in. Let's dig in, man. During pandemic times, most important thing, hand sanitizer. If you're going to eat Egyptian style, which is using the things that God gave us. So what do we start with? Full. Okay. Break off some pita bread and just get stuck in to the full. You can see the full there, oily and mushy. Mm. After the full, we'll go for the falafel or tamia, as it's known here. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, full of flavor. It's made with fava beans. Mm. And chickpeas. Mm. Now, the Egyptian next to me doesn't agree, but I prefer the falafel. Tamiya here in Egypt yeah. than I do in the Middle East, but uh, he actually prefers. I the prefer Middle the Middle Eastern yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it's more better for me because you know, like I guess because I have been always eating this one, so yeah. it's kind of normal for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I prefer the Middle Eastern one from yeah. Jordan, Palestine, this country. You know, so yeah, it's pretty much different, but yeah, still good. We can do it. <laughs> Maza A, which is tomato. Aubergine, kind of in a sauce of some kind, paste mixed together. Mm. Shakshuka next, slightly different here. It's almost like an omelette. Yeah, the shakshuka I've had in some other countries, it's sunny side up and it's runny and it spills all over the tomato. Very nice taste. Trying the fried aubergine. Mm much saltier than the other ones. So just finished the Egyptian style breakfast. It was really quite a feast. And some of the stuff there, the fool and the tamia, these dishes have been street food delicacies for a long time in Egypt. Some of them, even the fool, I think dates back all the way to the time of the pharaohs. So the history is on the side of the breakfast here. We're gonna head now to grab a very special shawarma and we'll need to take a bus across the city together. So we've just left downtown and we're now here in Helopolis, Helopolis. Yeah, yeah. which is a bit further north in Cairo. Yeah. And we've come here for Abu Haida, which do apparently some of the best Egyptian shawarma mango juice. and mango juice <laughs> yeah. in Cairo. So we're on the side of the street here. I didn't want to film the shawarma place because of uh, filming restrictions, yeah, but less about that, more about the shawarma, let's try it right now. I was about to try, but then this very kind man has given me a chair to sit on on the street, so I will take the hospitality. You're a famous guy now, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we're gonna stand up together, we're gonna stand up together. Okay. So the shawarma here, in Egypt is slightly different from it's a Middle Eastern yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no chips inside, there's vegetables instead. And, and there's tahini salad. Tahini you know? salad, not garlic. And those are different kind of bread, that's a Syrian one. Yeah, it looks more like a burger yeah. here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's try it. Let's dig in, let's dig in. Wow. 
Different flavor Pretty much too. different, right? I'm sure one yeah, weren't yeah, tasted yeah. before. It's almost like a meat burger with tahini sauce. Vegetables. Vegetables, yeah. I think coming to this side of Cairo just to try this shawarma is only for the hardcore foodies if you're here in Cairo. It's a bit of a journey to get here, but it's actually a very nice area. You can see some of the architecture of the buildings around in the background are kind of interesting. Slightly different to central Cairo. And actually there's a lot of nice apartments in this particular area, as well as stores here on the street, um, selling clothes around, of course. Next up, it's time to try the famous mango juice of Abu Haider, which actually has little chunks inside on the top there. I am looking forward to this. Mm. It's fresh, right? Yeah, it's so fresh. It's so fresh. And it's very sweet, yeah. too. Um, for me, actually, when I go to Abu Haider, like, I go for the manga, not the shawarma. For me, it's more fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shukran, shukran. The guy who brought the chair came and brought me a coffee. Uh, Egyptian for... hospitality, man. Yeah. Egyptian hospitality. Yeah. Shukran. Yeah. We've now ventured back into downtown after taking a bus from the shawarma place and right now we are having a quick tea break chai cheers mate red tea with mint yeah. cheers most egyptians are taking two sugars no sugar for me though i prefer it black so i'm now here at arguably the most famous food spot in the whole of cairo for the national dish Koshari and I'm coming to Abu Tarek which is across the street there shining late at night around 10 p.m. here so what is in the Koshari Omar well here is rice macaroni uh, lentils like I would say tops with uh, fried Crunchy onion, hummus, chickpeas. Yeah, and here we have like uh, tomato sauce, here onion sauce, here's a spicy one. Yeah, this is pretty much everything, and it is Egypt's national food. I would say it's the most popular one, you know. So, yeah, let's dig in. And there's a nice decor in here too. Really great ambience. A koshari here will set you back around 25 Egyptian pounds for the medium and you can get it for around 10 Egyptian pounds on the street but here is where you're going to pay a little bit more for the most famous place so put a little bit of tomato sauce on the top no meat in here so great if you're vegetarian or vegan so let's try my first ever bite of the delicacy mm. crunchiness from the dried onions and the softness of the pasta, the macaroni, the tomato sauce. Mm. Popular all over the Arabic world. My good friend in Saudi said his dad is obsessed with Kashrari and even Mohammed Salah, the football player, apparently it's the first thing he eats every time he comes back to Egypt. Now, what do you think? I think it's, it's incredible. Yeah, really. I can see why it's yeah. been so popular in Egypt number for one. so many number years. Number one, always, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they mean that. Yeah. Even though meats and kebabs and all these things have been so popular in the Middle East, yeah. But here in Egypt, this has been serving the working class people for hundreds of years, and it does the job. Honestly, it probably is the best thing I've tried so far in Egypt. Honestly, I love it so much. I really like it. it kind of looks like something you make at home just experimenting with just different things very full from the koshari although it was really good finishing off now with rose baba blaba which is rice with milk here yogurty in texture 
with a kind of layer of skin on the top anyway. Mmm. You know, I was feeling so full from the kashari, but this is actually kind of a good way to finish off. To finish everything. Yeah, just that sweet taste. Definitely something that's featured here in Egypt for sure. And um, nice little dessert to have. Finish this video with. Absolutely stuffed. Thanks again to Omar for helping me in this video and the yeah, last one. That's awesome. yeah. If you want to follow Omar on Instagram, <laughs> what's your Instagram name? Uh, just Omar, Omar .k. Okay, and yeah. I'll leave it here below yeah. so yeah. you can find it <laughs> yeah, and uh, give him a follow if you want to. Yeah. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video. Had a lot of fun filming it and shooting it. Uh, yeah, um, let's catch up again. Yeah, we'll definitely catch up again. Somewhere, maybe not in Egypt. Yeah, maybe yeah. on the road, you know? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Who knows where? Who yeah. knows where? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video here in Egypt. Bye. Peace. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya.